I'm going to show you how to create a long shadow effect inside After Effects. And then I'm going to gift you a free preset with all of this built in, plus some extra sprinkles and a magic checkbox that turns it from a standard long shadow into a sort of 3D button extrude thingy. But before I run through the preset's features, how to use it and where to find it, let me quickly show you how to create a basic long shadow from scratch. I've got my text layer and I'm going to search for the mini max effect and add it to my layer. We need to change the channel to alpha and the direction to just vertical. Now, when we increase the radius, we get this stretched look, which is basically our long shadow. However, we don't want it just going straight up and down like this. We want to control the angle of the shadow. And to do that, we will need to add a transform effect and bring that above our minimax effect. Let's adjust the rotation and yes, the text rotates, but the shadow stays vertical. If you tilt your head to match the rotation, you will see that the shadow is actually angled. But since you probably won't want to tell everyone to tilt their head while watching your animation, we need to fix the rotation of the text. All we need to do is duplicate our transform effect and drag it below our minimax, and then set its rotation to be minus whatever the first transform's rotation was. So if we hold Alt or Option and click on the stopwatch next to rotation, and pick whip to our first rotation and slap a minus sign in front of it. Now, when we rotate the first transform, it gives the appearance that the text is staying nice and straight and it's the shadow doing all the shifting instead. Right now though, the shadow is coming from both sides of our layer, which looks odd. We want it to come from just one side like an actual shadow would which is an easy fix. So just a quick expression on the position of the first transform. So hold Alt or Option and click the stopwatch. And let's type in open square bracket, value, open square bracket, and let's put a zero in this first one, comma, value, open square bracket again, and this time we want a one, plus, and then pick whip to the minimax radius, and then a final close square bracket on the end. So the shadow is still coming from both sides, but our layer has been shifted so that when we add our next fill effect and then our text back on top, the shadow will be in the correct position. So let's add that fill effect. So I'm just going to search for fill and drag this onto our layer. And this will be the color of our shadow. So I'm going to make mine black. And then finally, we need to search for another effect called CC composite and bring this to the very bottom as well. And that will bring our text back on top in the correct position. And that's all done. You can now control the length of your shadow with the minimax radius and the angle with the transform rotation. Now onto the good stuff. As I mentioned earlier, I've created a free preset with all of this set up, plus a bunch of extra features and a magic checkbox. The download link is in the description, so all you need to do is follow that link and download. And then once it's downloaded, you drop the Motion Caddy folder into your After Effects presets folder and you're all ready to go. So let's just run through all the features. So let's say I've got a plain text layer and all I do is search for MC Long Shadow in the Effects and Presets panel and then double click or drag it onto my layer. Straight away, I like to collapse all the effects first because we don't need any of these and then we can reopen the very top one called controls because that's where all the good stuff is. You can adjust the length, angle, color and opacity just like before. You can turn on the gradient giving you a delicious fade instead of a solid shadow and you've got full control over the colors and their start and end points. Under shadow extrude type, you will see two options, lines and dots. If I turn on lines, I get controls for line spacing, width, and the drop down to change the angle as well. Same deal with dots, you can control the spacing and size and get a completely different style of shadow. Then we've got our fall off, turn that on and you can control how the shadow fades out, set the angle, distance and feathering. 
you may have noticed this little checkbox right at the top, the one I failed to mention earlier, that's the magic button I mentioned earlier. Tick this box and you'll change how the shadow behaves. Instead of the shadow getting longer or shorter when you adjust the length, it's now the text itself moving or the layer you've put the shadow on, as if it's popping out from the surface. Perfect for button animations or even more elaborate motion tricks. And everything still works. You can still keyframe the angle, play with the colors, gradients, lines, and just have fun with it. One thing to watch out for, if you duplicate a layer with this preset on or copy and paste the effects onto another layer, you might notice something weird, and that's because the CC composite effect at the bottom is still referencing the original layer. To fix it, just scroll down and in the top layer, drop down inside the composite effect, choose your current layer. Easy fix, but a super important one. And that's it. Hopefully the preset saves you a bit of time and gives your project that extra bit of polish. Have fun with it, make cool stuff, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.